students let's start a new chapter that is chapter 11 pointers the main objective of this chapter is to understand the concept of pointers usage of pointers role of pointers in arrays strings and structures concept of dynamic and static memory allocations relationship between pointers and functions relationship between pointers and objects when we writing a program you declare the necessary variables according to the problem definitions when variables are declared with the data types then the compiler creates a memory reservation for the declared variables when program execution start and the pointer concept is a very important concept it plays an role to identify the or to point the address of the variable in the location or in the memory sets definitional declaration a pointer is a variable that holds the memory address and a location of another variable which points to a pointer is a variable that holds the memory address and location of another variable that points to then how to declare a pointer the general form is data type indirect operator or pointer operator variable name and this ended by a semicolon data type which specifies the type of the values variable name is the name of the pointer variable and interaction operator indicates that indicates the this is a pointer variable then how to define a pointer variable in indirect operator i p t r means i p t r to be declared as pointer variable of type integer for example in with the very 
variable name. And here the null variable is assigned with a value 25. In the next step, the pointer variable is declared with the integer tag and it creates a pointer variable with the memory addresses and the variable num address is assigned to the pointer variable ipdr using the statement ipdr is equal to ampersand num ampersand is called as address operator which holds the address of the variable means in this statement it assigns the address of num variable to the pointer variable ipdr then indirectly ipdr holding the value 25. Memory representation of pointers. As we know, a memory is a storage device used to store the given data in some or specified locations in the system. Bit or byte unit is used to measure the memory devices. Each byte is identifiable by a unique number called address. Suppose we have 1 KB of memory since 1 KB is equal to 1024 bytes. Yes, 1 KB is equal to 1024 bytes. Then it reads the address from 0 to 1023 in linear form. It reads the address value from 0 to 1023 in linear format because memory is organized as an array of bytes. Array of bytes. The array follows a memory representation and it reads a index value according to the subscript range that is from 0 to n minus 1. 0 to n means 1024 bytes minus 1. Then it reaches the 0 to 1023 value index value. 0 to 1023 index value. 0 represents the first address of the memory location. 1 represents the second address of the memory location. And so on. 1023 represents the last look address of the memory location. For example, int num is equal to 15. Num is a variable which is declared with the data type integer and it is initialized with the value 15. Then, when this statement is executed by compiler, then the compiler creates a memory space for variable num with memory address 100 and in this location of variable num the 15 value is stored in address of 0. Okay. This is a memory representation of pointers.